Ever since Huawei announced its push into the Chinese electric vehicle space last year, the industry has been watching the telecom giant's moves. Huawei had some modest successes in the past year. Last December, Huawei cooperated with AITO to release 80M5, the first EV model equipped with Harmony OS, Huawei's alternative to Google's Android operating system. But this is not the only fruit of Huawei's efforts these years. Recently, Huawei announced that Huawei's high car system will be used on BYD Han, making it the world's first mass produced car equipped with Huawei's 5G technology. What is Han? Well, there is an interesting story about BYD Han. The reason why it is named after Han also shows BYD's ambition. The Han dynasty is one of the most powerful feudal dynasties in Chinese history. Moreover, the Han dynasty also opened the Silk Road and established the cultural characteristics of the Chinese nation, laying a strong foundation for the development of Chinese culture. After all this, we come to a question, will this 5G driving system be a game-changer for Huawei's current difficult situation? Apart from it, what is Huawei's market plan for the future? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Before everything, we can take a look at what the system is and how it is related to 5G technology, as well as its advantages and disadvantages compared with other competitors. Smart connectivity makes the car a new mobile terminal, to which being connected and intelligent is indispensable. Intelligent connected vehicles are more demanding on in-car data exchange and communication with the outside. Automotive wireless communication module capable of data transmission acts as a key integral of vehicle intelligence. As we mentioned, Huawei's system is going to be applied to BYD Han, a B-class car. It is pretty interesting that the cheapest electric car from Tesla, an American company, is also a B-class car. This time BYD cooperated with Huawei to launch the Han equipped with the high car system. It's natural to compare the two cars side by side. Tesla is also equipped with its own operating system and does not use the traditional car machine based on the Android system or Linux system. It is a long and difficult process to independently develop the system. So, what challenges is Huawei faced with? The current Tesla car system is not as functional as China's leading ideal in NEO, but we believe that Tesla has an advantage in developing its own system. The processor can be equipped with Intel products which have huge performance potential. You can customize the functions at will, and Google can with ease manipulate the Android car system, but its future development may be limited. Independent research and development and Android-based have their own advantages and disadvantages, depending on the manufacturers. Here comes our most important part, how Huawei is combining 5G with automotive solution. This time, in BYD's car system, Huawei has also added 5G functions. Huawei is one of the largest 5G chip manufacturers in China. Its Balong 5000 baseband is the industry's top 5G product. There are not many manufacturers that currently use 5G technology in cars. BYD is one of the most powerful car manufacturers in China, and the alliance with Huawei is considered very powerful. We believe that it will play a great role in the development of 5G in the car. So what are the advantages of the system? Huawei's 5G technology will be used in BYD Han's in-vehicle intelligent entertainment system and D-Pilot intelligent driving assistance system, which is of great help in improving the network speed and stability of the car machine system. As for another function, the mobile phone NFC car key has now been implemented on many cars. We believe that it is not too innovative, but this function is more practical, 
and it is likely to be popularized in the future. Unfortunately, there is more to see. Huawei is a traditional telecommunications manufacturer that made smartphones later, so Huawei will not launch its own cars. After all, the automobile manufacturing industry needs a huge investment of resources, but we believe that this kind of car machine system is a better way of cooperation, after all, major car manufacturers have begun to pay attention to the car system, but limited by the strength of research and development, the products made are not that good. There are, of course, positive things as well. There is a booming automotive wireless communication module market. Connected vehicles still at a gallop in 2021, when the shortage of vehicle chips deteriorated see an ever rise in penetration rate. In 2020, ICV sales worldwide registered 39.52 million units with a year-on-year -year upsurge of 36.6%, a figure projected to hit 53.2 million units in 2021 and more than 100 million units in 2025. By the vehicle communication module shipments in varied communication modes in China, the Chinese market of vehicle wireless communication modules is sized by 3.2 billion renminbi in 2021, a figure projected to report 9.14 billion renminbi in 2025. Automotive wireless communication modules find clear applications and play a crucial role. Against the burgeoning intelligent connected vehicles, the Chinese players are seeking strongholds in the wireless communication module field and faster branching out to the international automotive market. In the automotive wireless communication module market, Chinese communication module manufacturers are developing rapidly, including Quectil, Fibacom, GoSunk Wheelink, Huawei, and Ublox. It is over the recent years that the mergers and acquisitions in the world's automotive wireless communication module industry are gathering pace, and the industry concentration will rise further in the future. Through the lens of corporate competition, Chinese suppliers of automotive wireless communication module outperform foreign counterparts in whatever technology, industrial chain, product competitiveness or capital attraction, and they tend to be in full swing. Huawei intends to deploy the Internet of Things, and the car system is a very important part, I just don't know whether the car system is based on Harmony OS. At the BYD Han press conference, Yu Chengdong came to the scene to show consumers the Huawei high car system. Huawei's in-car technologies a dashboard that performs many of the same functions as Huawei smartphones and a network that allows remote connectivity to a plethora of its home appliances. And yet, the Chinese telecom giant and its obscure manufacturing partner will need to build a reputation for building quality cars. Huawei is entering a Chinese EV market crowded with established players, competing heads-on with similarly priced rivals such as Tesla's Model Y and Li Auto's popular crossover Li One. Is Huawei's 5G strategy in automotive car drive changing the whole situation for Huawei? The result still remains to be seen, but we personally have confidence that they will make breakthrough anyway, regardless of its business in cars. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.